also someone needs to let Intellicast know that, and this is all education, political sharing, and I think anybody would want to know that their temperature plot is not working. Because I wasn't playing around, I never play around. Oh, I do, but it's usually with a cute little beaver. But anyway, honest American engine machine, that's what the honest American engine or an honest American machine beaver. So, ladies, single. But anyway, temperature plot ain't showing, ain't generating. So I found another link. Let's see if this will work. So since the weather has become top secret, we'll blow we'll blow the the, the truth off the weather. <laughs> so there you got world temperatures there. We're supposed to be able to toggle here with this here. So we'll go ahead. Since we know we're in North America, we'll hit there, and we'll see what we get. And so they basically don't want you to really see, but you can even see by the color. We know that this temperature's here pretty much along here. And it's March. And it's very dramatic temperature records because I know how warm it is up here. Okay. This is upper tier all the way along this border here. This is a very peaceful border. It seemed to always have got along. And it goes all the way along here. And it's called the American and Canadian border. And it's on certain parallels in certain areas right here and everything like that. And we get along really, really good. So anyhow, uh, let's go see what we can get for a, a whole plot. Because for some reason, we don't want to know what the temperature is all the way around the area. Because, I don't know, it's just hella warm, isn't it? Okay. For this time of year, because it's a lot warmer than this along here. Okay. And we've seen it warm in Michigan or anything like that. So let's see if we can get temperatures. So in certain parts of the country, you need to go outside and see if there is a fish truck outside with a fan on it blowing a lot of very cold air at you. Uh, because these temperatures, and I'm not going to point, but it's a lot warmer outside than what these temperatures show it. Now I can believe this over here in being in Chi-Town and right off the bay and stuff, then we've seen those record temperatures that we were seeing in Michigan. So let me pull up Michigan area and stuff like that. But I know what I'm looking at here is if you go north, okay, up by the border and so forth and so on, there must be some ice trucks and some real good fishermen outside selling some fish, which is good. That's I like to see that. That is a normalcy. Uh, the Casino of America business 24-7. Uh, everybody likes a good fresh piece of fish. So, anyhow, there must be some real cold trucks sitting somewhere blowing some real cold temperatures somewhere because it's a lot warmer than this, folks. Okay? A lot warmer than this. Okay? And if you know the distances, too, it's a lot warmer than that. So, anyway, people, if you see any temperatures around here that we're looking at that are probably a lot cooler than what you know you feel like, maybe you should have your free speech and go ahead and talk about it okay so and here what do they got this uh, 29th here and I got my central standard time here so that's Greenwich time over in England ladies and gentlemen if you want to do the time differential so this is current so yeah anyway I'm sure any company would want to know that their deals not working says not anything to do with any computer here or DSL or s branch of where I'm not going to get into specifics because that's what they want me to talk about and I'm not going to talk about that. Yeah, the in and out of where your phone call, because this is a phone call and it comes from. So anyway, somebody's got problems with their uh, plot. So anyway, these are working, and then we'll go to Solar Artist at the end of this, and you'll see some more of what I was talking about. I know you've seen the video today. I was day late putting it up, but uh, the jet stream, and we have a massive, I think even again today, a massive north-south. And the yes, harp does exist, and it's working beautifully, and it, it is nice and warm. And let's go to some more truth about the temperatures out there. Let's go ahead and give you... Uh, it's going to be south central and see if it peaks up much up towards the north. 
Okay, so you see how warm it is down there, and don't need that. So we'll go ahead and we will look at some more temperatures. And ooh, can we move this around real fast? Is that going to work? I don't think that'll work on that. So anyway, it doesn't really matter. And no, I ain't going to waste time sitting here trying to become the super, you know what, map runner. Let's just go look at the greatness. Because otherwise you don't eat. You will go hungry in good portions of the world too. And as we see, I know the first thing I'm seeing there as I roll down, the temperatures are a lot warmer than that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I can't speak for over this far away, but anything over there to the left, it's a lot warmer, and then that rapid city temperature will tell you a lot about the truth. And the color, too. So the idea that if you see a different color shade, it's a lot warmer. Maybe hell's freezing over on the other side of the state. Somebody's ass is getting frosty. I know I'm suing somebody. So anyhow, Pinot you know, Black showing you temperatures again. Let's see what else we got. So I guess they must have took warning of the idea that there should be a breeze off of Erie and Michigan and our Great Lakes up there because the idea that we know it probably still should be a little warmer and we had those record highs that were in Detroit area and stuff like that. So and these are, I'm pretty sure some of this is probably some records somewhere on this. So you see the West Coast, they're not really going to understand anybody saying anything about these East Coast temperatures because they should, though. Anybody that's, you know, I'd say anybody that's 40-some years old or something like that and up would know that the idea we have strange temperatures out East because this is somewhat normal for the West Coast at this time of year. And so it's a good time to go down to the Gulf. Enjoy the Gulf, cause nice. So and then let's go East Coast. I don't want them getting upset at us. So anyway, we know how to get Florida temperatures in the Midwest, I guess now. In March, in all of March. And January and February are warm too, and we hardly get any snow anywhere, but the mountains out west have it now. I mean, it's cool out west. So, Florida temperatures in the Midwest, what a real estate revival. Move to the Midwest, ladies and gentlemen. We got nice temperatures. Let's open some more of the shots from out in space out there on you. And you got to the right. I got the sun and the super giants, and then we'll move up a couple. Let's see what this shot here is. And that was uh, CME action there to the right, that blackness that you're seeing there. So there's a definitely some huge whammo, because that's more than just CME. That's massive material. And to show you a little bit what we mean, we'll end up getting another shot. Now, I believe that that's a turnaround shot there then. Okay, and let's go ahead and look at some other camera views up here where we were getting the CME action. There you go. And like I say, when you see darkness, that's material. So that other CME lower, there's some wild action. Check all this stuff out out there. That's kind of, we need to go to look at that photo. So we get some road maps of something or something through the CME action in space because that is wild. And then we get to show you that darkness again, okay? So we can go up and down in this shot real fast. But this is when I went to the page, the whole shot you can go to, and you can and you can blow up real big. And yeah, this is the f most fresh that we have from at least that I have anyhow right now from a H1A you see down there in the left hand corner and then the meatball all right and I guess that's worth going to too so here we go we'll scan down through this and you see the huge CME that fresh shot and then I guess what we'll try to do is match up time to that dark mass that we were seeing of CME action
Okay, because we know that that's normal, and it's not really normal. This is the sun's going ape shit, and the super giants also. So probably they don't probably front trying to figure it's like what the hell is this shit coming at us? What the flip? Let's do something. Let's blow some. I don't know. It's space. Space and the super giants going ape shit in the sun because they don't like that big nemesis. What the super flipping meatball? Oh, immense, isn't it? Huge, flipping huge. Biggest goddamn thing you're probably ever going to see in your whole flipping life. There's Mercury and Venus, and there's a neighbor way off in the distance. And this Earth somewhere in that shot, like I say, the V action. Somewhere between Venus and Mercury here, because the Sun and the Supergiants are brightening these up. Somewhere in a V area, you no know, matter what, somehow, even if it's shallow, Earth is somewhere in here in front of the meatball at our back door. Okay, and that's the flipping meatball, folks. It's not Earth. Okay, that is not flipping Earth. And as you, you can see there, these, uh, when they've seen shots that we've seen, bl uh, blue and white shots before, a lot of people have looked at this stuff and seen it for Soho for years, is the idea that. It actually shows that it might have some kind of land masses on it or some kind of differential because there's dark areas and then there's light areas on it. And it way more noticeable on the blue ones, the blue and whites, when they've ever had a shot of it. Okay, because that's your flipping meatball. That's not Earth, folks. And that's the sum of the supergiants to the right. And they are massive as you see them doing that. And that's, they're a little bit of that dark mass action, but anyway, off the sun of the supergiants because you know that's coming from it there to the right there. So let's go see if we can blow up one of those shots. So anyway, we've got this here shot here, and you can see that dark mass uh, to the right, and you can see this super meatball there to the left. You can see the meatball. You know it. You've seen it on the red shot a minute ago, and you still got Venus and Mercury right there, and then you have this darkness, the mass of darkness from the sun and the supergiants there. The marble action, or boom, boom, bang, bang. Who knows? Let's take a look at that and blown up. So I'll cruise down past that a little bit, and I guess that's as far as I get to go to the right on that mass. So, interesting colorization of a mass. That was, should be materials and maybe some uh, mass. We know that they always call it a M this or M that. It's mass this, okay? So, those are some masses up there by the sun and the supergiants because otherwise we wouldn't get a shadow. And it might also be CME material. It's very dark and ominous. Very, very unusual looking, okay? I believe that's Venus right there. And there's Mercury over there to the left. And as you see as we pan down, there's the meatball. You can see the big shadow of it around there and the silhouette of it. That's out our back door. Earth's back door. Let's go to the color. It makes you realize it. Freaky flippin' tiki. Freaky tiki, ladies and gentlemen. There is the flippin' meatball. It's the biggest ball you're ever going to see. Unless they give us a shot of that one. It's 747 times the size of the sun. But that's somewhere else, out, out in deep dark space somewhere, I believe. Or if it's bright and opens up to some, uh, when it moves, it shows some sunlight or something. I don't know, but there's something at 745. And the fans can put that comment back in again there. I mean, fans, people that watch my channel. The guy hit it right on the knob, and he went to the to what I had found at 747 on uh, Wikipedia. It's out there. It's an actual space object. It does exist, and this meatball exists. And Earth is somewhere between Mercury and Venus, somewhere here in front of that meatball, okay? We're somewhere in there, okay? Somewhere. And that's the sun of the supergiants to the right, flaring its little flipper and flapper off. And yes, the sun in the supergiants is very active, a little quiet right now. And then we'll see on the data if they're really telling the truth on there. And then you see the temperature. Ooh, we get warming up again. So as you can tell, when the temperature cools off like that, uh, and then it warms up. We were getting that CME action that we've seen there from the sun more than likely coming. So that's warming it up and also bringing the speed up, solar wind speed. And so then we come down and we'll look at the data real fast. We know that the temperature's up, remember, because we were showing yesterday that it was down here by zero, a little bit above. So there's a lot of movement and a lot of stuff out there in space. And then we'll see the real truthful thing is when we, okay, now the Aurora, uh, when I seen this earlier this morning, we had a, a some and but anyway, dramatically from yesterday. If you remember watching video yesterday on the rural, got a lot of movement on the rural on the north. It's moving a lot and there. And I haven't even been paying attention to earthquakes today, so we'll go take a look at that. 
CME, it seems like that they don't, there's your signature of the role. 